Hey everybody, what's going on? If you are a returning viewer or a subscriber, thanks again for uh, supporting my channel and coming back and checking out my content. I really appreciate it. Uh, without you guys, I really would be doing this for nothing. Um, if you're new to the channel, haven't watched it yet, um, welcome. I just want to say I'm glad you're here. Hope you find what I do interesting or informational or amusing at least. Um, and maybe hopefully you learn something. Um, and yeah, so let's just jump into it today. Um, my big thing right now is I am extremely lazy when it comes to keeping my home directory clean. I open up my terminal, I write out a text file or a .sh file or whatever I'm doing and it ends up getting just staying there. I don't save it to the correct location. I do have scripts file and documents file or directories and all this stuff where all that stuff needs to go and eventually it works its way there, but I'm really bad and my home directory gets really cluttered. So I figured why not take this opportunity, even though it is super simple to move all that stuff with just a quick command on the, in the terminal, um, I decided to take this opportunity to write a script to kind of do the whole thing for me. So let's just go ahead and take a look at that script and then we'll run that script and yeah, just kind of tell me what you think. So basically what we have here is we have the script and what it's going to do is it looks for certain files in the current directory you're in and the first argument is going to be the file extension. So it's going to for file in current directory with any file at whatever extension I input, do this. And what it's going to do is it's going to check for that file and it's also going to check for the second argument. If I do not give it a second argument, it's going to take... If it's a text file, it's going to move that text file to directory one, which we see up here. I have directory one as a variable to my home slash documents directory. Um, it's going to take and move those files into my into that directory, and then it's going to run this count command, which is basically ls the current directory, and they're going to pipe that into grep, and we're going to grep any of those files that I put in this first argument here, which in this case it's looking for text, and then it's going to pipe that into word count and it's going to count the lines. And if that total, that count, ends up greater than one, then it's going to send me a notification that says all text files successfully moved. If it is not more than one and it's just one file, it's going to send me a notification that says whatever file I moved has successfully moved. And it's going to do that if I input s.sh, if I input sh in this first argument, and if I input docx in this first argument. Now, that being said, like the setup here, it's going to check for a file and if uh, my second argument is empty. Well, down here, if we go down here, it's going to check for that for a file and then if my second argument isn't empty, if I give it a second argument, which is going to be a path, then it will move this file here to the location of my second argument, which is the path. And then it's going to again run that count command to see how many files I've moved. And if it's greater than one, it will tell me all of those files are moved. And if it's not, it will tell me that the single file is moved. So that being said, again, it's real simple. Um, checks the file for certain directories or whatever file extension I give it. And then if I don't give it number two, it moves those files into specified directories, the home slash documents or the home slash local slash scripts or the home slash documents slash school depending on whether it's a text file, a .sh file, or a uh, .docx file. And then down here, where I give it a second argument, if I run, say I have a .jpg or a .mp4, uh, files that I don't commonly make, but sometimes end up in there, then I can run this and give it a specific directory I want it to go to. So let's just go ahead and run this here, and we will uh, just see how it works. So I'm in my home directory right now. If I do a PWD, you can see I'm in home Jake, and let's say I do an LL. Now you can see I've got like my um, file update.sh and my bar action.sh and my bar.sh. Those are going to stay here. I'm not going to mess with those, so I'm not going to test the .sh one right now. But I will do a, uh, let's do touch and then do test, and we'll make three documents here. And if we do clear this, oops clear the screen and do an LL again, you can see in my home directory I have test 1, 2, and 3 dot DOCX. Now if we go back over here, we remember that my DOCX files I want to go in right here, I want them to go in directory 3, which directory 3 is my home documents school. So if I run the file update dot SH script and I run it on DOCX because that's this argument right here. It's going to check for file in current directory, any file dot, 
and then my input. So my input is DOCX, so it's gonna look for any DOCX file. And I hit enter, I get a notification up here that says all DOCX files is successfully moved. So if I clear the screen here and I do a CD into documents school, so if I do PWD, you can see I'm in home Jake documents school, which is right where I want those to be. And I do an LS, you can see I've got test one DOCX, test two DOCX, test three DOCX. So they have now successfully been moved. If I go back to my home directory and I do an LL, you can see they are no longer in that directory. So let's try that again. So let's clear the screen and let's do it with text files. So let's do, remember if I did an LL, I've got no other files in here now. So if I do a touch test, but let's make those TXT files and we hit enter, clear the screen, do an LL. You can see I've got test one, two, three dot TXT now. So let's clear the screen. Let's run this on the TXT files. We hit enter. Now if I do an LL, you can see those files are no longer here, but if I do a CD into documents and hit enter, so if I do PWD, you can see I'm in home Jake documents, which is where I want my, see these are my text files, and I want them in directory one, which is home documents. And if I do an LS, you can see now I've got test one, test two, test three dot text in my um, documents directory. So nice and simple. Um, now the bottom down here of the script, uh, if I do all the way down to the bottom here, this um, up the top here, it checked to make sure I did not have a second argument added. Down here, it's gonna look for a file and check for my second argument. My second argument is gonna be a path. This down here is for files that I don't commonly make, but sometimes end up in my home directory. Uh, .jpg files, uh, PNG files, MP4, stuff like that. that gets made on occasion, but not as often, and so I'm not gonna be running into them as much. So basically for that, say I, let's clear the screen, and let's say I touch test.png. PN, so now if I do an LL, you can, oops, I'm in the wrong directory, Jake. So let's go home, PWD, so now I'm home, and let's do touch test.png and now if I do an LL we can see right down here kind of I know I got to change my color scheme I apologize but we can see down here I have a test.png so let's clear the screen let's run the file update.txt but now we're going to do png and I'm going to specify where I want it to go so if I do home uh, let's do home media and we'll do that so it should Let's go ahead and run that, and let's do an LL. Now you can see that that PNG file is gone. If I CD into media, and I do an LL, you can see right here, test.png is now in my media directory. So that being said, that's just kind of the way the script works. Um, like I said, it's really simple. Um, again, it's not extremely necessary because all that can be done with simple commands, but like I said, I'm trying to get better with shell scripting and stuff like that, so I figure if I can just figure out a script to write for just some stupid reason, um, I'm going to go ahead and do it. So I hope you found this interesting. Uh, maybe you can get a little bit of use out of it. This will get pushed to my GitHub and my GitLab account, which are linked in all the descriptions of my videos. So if you're interested, go ahead and check it out. Uh, make tweaks, changes, whatever you want to do. If you think it's stupid, let me know. If you like it, let me know. Um, and that being said, I appreciate your time. I appreciate you watching my channel. Um, I love all of you. God bless. Have a great rest of your week.